obviously you guys are kind of fighting for your lives today for the Mountain West. Do you, do you salvage this one to stay alive? Uh, how, how big was it? Oh, I, it's, it's huge because we get to control our own destiny now. If we lose that game, obviously we're looking forward to the tournament. Um, but now we get we get to play for something uh, next week at San Diego or at Fresno State. Got to win two to clinch it outright. I know overall, you obviously didn't want to be in this position today. You, had, you couldn't take care of business the first two games. But you know what did it say about your, your squad to, to come out today with everything on the line like this and not kind of cave in? Roller coaster of a weekend. I thought we played really well on Friday. Hit a lot of hard balls right at people. Um, we did not show up yesterday. We let our emotions get the best of us, and I talked to the team about that in the locker room. Um, but for us to respond, we talk about response all the time. And once again, our team responds on senior day to do it right for the seniors. I think it's a, it's bigger than just beating San Diego State and staying in the running. It's, it's to do it right for these seniors who have set us up for years to come. You guys, uh, your first year here, you set the home run record. Second year here, you reset the home run record. I, I know it's just one little thing in the feather in the cap, if you will. But what does it mean to do that, Justin? Uh, it, it means what we're doing is, A, we're recruiting good athletes, and B, um, our philosophies are working. So I think it's huge to not only set the tone early, but now to build for the future with recruit, recruits seeing that. It's easy to communicate with them and talk about what we're doing here because uh, we're doing big things at Boise. From hitting them to robbing them, what would you think of that, uh, that catch? I was in the dugout yelling, just like, we need a 50-50 play. Jordan Hutchins busts her butt all the way over there, makes an effort, runs into the fence. We don't hold on. We have a great play by E. We don't hold on to a ball at first base, and they're, they're busting their butts. We just we just couldn't finish. And then right as I'm yelling, we need a 50-50 play, Kens goes and sets the tone in the seventh. Um, that was huge because I think um, San Diego State's a really good team. They swing it well. Um, it'll, I think it'll be a little bit different going to their park because we're going to have to play a little bit different softball. Bigger park, some of these home runs that both sides hit. Don't necessarily carry out and so we have to kind of recreate ourselves for the tournament with that i mean that, that play that, that's one that looks so much easier than it actually is how, how how difficult is that play and how well does she just time that thing up to go get it oh it's it's an extremely difficult play we just talked about it too and i said stop playing so close to the fence so i made it more difficult for her um, but it's like it's like rebounding in basketball she went high pointed it and it's, it was a really really good catch and like i said it set the tone because if they get that momentum in the seventh who knows what happens there was two or three things in this game that we maybe see once all year with the repeal at third and then the uh, pitcher dropping the pop-up and then there was all kinds of stuff that happened. Just how, how weird was this game, I guess? Uh, very weird. I think when emotions get high, um, I have to tip my cap. And as you guys know, I don't always get along with the umpires day to day. Um, but this crew was amazing all weekend. I thought they controlled their emotions and, and they really helped uh, keep everything in check all weekend. So uh, I thought I thought they set the tone. And like I said, I'm going to disagree with calls, but the way they explained everything made it really simple. Um, I thought she started moving at third base prior to the catch, but her foot, I thought, was still on the back. He had a different view. Um, at home plate, there was another interesting situation where, once again, emotions were high. Um, but I thought they did a really good job controlling the game, so I got nothing but uh, compliments for that, that three, those three. With Eflo, like, you bumped her up in the lineup. It was obviously a good move. She's just kind of a gamer. Like, it feels like you always know what you're going to get out of her. Uh, that's exactly why we did it. I, after day one, you could feel the nerves a little bit from the team, a big series. Hadn't played a super competitive softball game in a while just because of run rules and stuff like that. Um, but we moved her up because I knew she's a gamer, and it was about putting people, geez, Louise, <laughs> putting uh, people who wanted wanted the big moments. And I thought E um, rose to the occasion. Uh, Waylon, huge swing. I mean, that's awesome to see. Spot starter all year. Had a rough first two games of the series, but I thought she had great at-bats, and um, that was a huge uh, insurance run that she got us late in the game. That's it. You know, kind of looking ahead to next week. I mean, to kind of control your own destiny now, you know you need to go there and get two to – achieve your goal like I said you wish you had already wrapped it up by now but just what's to, to be in this position you probably would have taken it when the season started to still be alive at yeah. this point I mean, what just what's, what's your take on where you guys sit uh we talked about it briefly before senior day we need to get back to playing good softball I thought this weekend was a roller coaster um, it was good to feel the emotions because that's what the tournament will feel like um, but we got to go into Fresno beautiful place a lot of fans um it's going to be us playing good softball again